Welcome to the Christmas special, The Prop Show, with special guest Steve Wayne and Paul Long. Robbie T. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas time. Christmas time. <laughs> There's no need. Anyway, let's move on. There you go. I'll tell you what, we're filming this on Christmas Day, aren't we? No. Yeah. No? Yeah. We, filmed no. It, we filmed it early. Yeah, early. Uh, Although magic. it'll probably come out a few days before Christmas because the missus won't let me upload this to. to, yeah. to no, on Christmas Day. Let's go. Yeah. Get bloody shot. Yeah, we've got two of our very favourite people. There you two go. Where are you? Hey. Where are you? Where are you from? Yeah. Anyone who's been living under a rock. Who are you? Where do you come from? I'm Paul Long. <laughs> Mr. Facebook advertising. Mr. Facebook. And uh, I come from uh, the sunny south of London. Oh, nice. Sit the Sid Cup. Southside. And, and live, for one time only, <laughs> we've got our man on the ground. Steve Says. Steve Says. Steve Says. Steve's here. So we're going to try and do a live Steve Says. We're going to do a live Steve, Steve Says later, so that is a treat. Okay, so Christmas <laughs> special, Christmas special. I hope all you boys and girls get all what you want for Christmas. But we've got some presents for you we to have. unwrap. Yeah, we've got some presents. We've got some presents. So, uh, recipients of the uh, always wonderful Prop Show T-shirt. There you so go. There's one of those for you guys. Excellent. Uh, excellent. Take away, Joe and team. Um, and uh, we'd, love, we'd love you to. Have you just got the one or two of those? We've got two. We've got and, two. Uh, of course. There you go. There's your money pennies. And some money penny socks. So thanks, guys. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Uh, and, the, and then some Yongdel uh, socks. Yongdel socks. socks. There you go. You know, you there you go. And then one day, we're nearly out of glasses there, aren't we? Uh, they're, they're, can, it, can you believe it? But well, they've run out. They've run out. Oh, of one I day. heard a rumour there's umbrellas on the way. Yeah, well, if you get off their backsides and bloody send them to us. But thank you, one day. They've okay. been a staple okay. of the show. There you go. So, one day. One, put your glasses on. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, you can have my pest. <laughs> there you go. These are not brown diamonds. Get, get the one day things. One day tree. One day tree. The glasses from above. Wonder, wonder. Wonder. Um, but yeah, so thanks, uh, so thanks to all of our show um, sponsors and if they just send us stuff to so you. Send us your present. Present. Oh, we've got a gift. <laughs> hey, we've got a North London TV okay. mug. What, what's Christmas the best thing special. to put in the tea mug? Uh, well, coffee. Tea? No, coffee? No. Da, oh, da, da, da. <laughs> Hi, this is the Prop Show, you're on speaker. It's Rory and Grant here from Data Loft. How you doing, lads? Rory? Grant, how? Dudes. How's it going? Look, we've got a problem, fellas. We're trying to write, write some articles about the property market here in Grantham, and we've got some real issues trying to find some data. Well, I tell you what, boys, you've come through to the right play ball because we are problem solvers, boys, aren't we? That's Start right. to your problem, we've got the big dog in today. We need to know how much house prices have gone up in the last five years in Grantham. Uh, well, sounds to me like, Grant, you need some prop show beer. Look, I'm going to be honest with you fellas. How's prop show beer going to help me get what I need? Well, i tell you what, Grant, all I can say is this, mate, is that property prices in Grantham have risen by 4.3%, which just happens to be the alcoholic content of prop show beer. You're on a winner, babe. Oh, I see. Look, 4.3. Oh, my God, that was great. Oh, thanks, lad. Thanks, fellas. No worries, boys. Happy tell. See you there. Hillaroo. Thanks very much. Nice um, segue, so, yeah. North London TV mug. There you so go. this is good. So Steve, talk to me about what North London TV is. That's uh, not in order. That's a bit further down. Uh, we don't do, we don't read off the board. We go for <laughs> Christmas. Look, it's Christmas. Give me your present to me to, to, to just leave me alone. Focus. Focus. Like Steve. Stuck in the domestic. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, uh, tell us about North London TV. Um, so North London TV is a monthly TV show we've done. Yeah. So it's a lifestyle show. There's a little bit of property in there. Yeah. Just a little bit about the area and just really just telling everyone about what's brilliant about North London. We've had some great coverage. Yeah, we had one episode, two episodes down now, and we've had really, really good views. And more importantly than the views, it's the feedback of people. Yeah. Right. You know, so many people try and do these things and they do them half-witted. But it's been done, you know, in my opinion, quite professionally done. Yeah. Had some really good video guys doing it. Of course, I'm running names. <laughs> some guys, some guys. But it, it's been really good. We've had some really good feedback from people, and it's just taken the company to, to the next stage. Yeah. And it's just, are, you, are you finding, sorry to interrupt, that some of your valuers, when they go out, they're being recognised as such? Um, yeah. Pre yeah, I think 
I think that it, it's more, it's obviously not the value as we're doing the show. True, it's, true. It's me and Roseanne and Joe's done a little bit for us. Yeah. But I think people are turning around like, I know Roseanne a couple of times turned around, so I went to the cinema and five people approached me and said, oh, really? I've seen you oh, everywhere wow. on my newsfeed. Amazing. So I think that it's more about the branding than the, necessarily the person. Sure, sure. It's about the, the, the bigger thing. And obviously, we don't mention the word Benjamin Stevens anywhere on the show. No, um, good. But it's, you can tell if you know. Of course. I mean, well, uh, let's, let's seamlessly go into a little exit from uh, North London TV. Today I'm at Bushy Synagogue to meet the rabbi and find out a little bit more about the Bushy community. Uh, so could you tell me a little bit about the community in Bushy? Is it growing? What type of people are joining the community? Just tell me a little bit about, about that. So today I'm here with Nick Munro at Alderham Golf Country Club uh, to find out a bit more about the place. So... Hi guys, uh, today we're at Barrett's New Development in Mill Hill. It's called Ridgeway Views and I'm with Steve who's an expert in Help to Buy and he's going to talk us through a little bit more about them. So firstly, just tell us a little bit about the help to buy. So that was excellent. Nice. So Speaking of video. Well, <laughs> well, it, it's interesting that actually Paul, because he's king of Facebook advertising, uh, yeah. yeah, talks so about get, one. Um, other Facebook people are available. Um, <laughs> if you like. Well, they're coming on the show in a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have Facebook people. <laughs> so other Facebook people are available. Okay. Well, that's, a, that's perfect. Oh, Chris. Oh. Santa. Santa. Paul. Paul uh, talks. The power of Facebook advertising is to know, learn, know, know, like, and trust. So that TV puts in quite nicely, doesn't oh, yeah. it, with content? Yeah. Talk to us about that. Yeah. So the the content you're producing there is, is is perfect for taking people from you know not knowing you to the, to the where stage of know, like, and trust you. And often people just aren't ready, so you don't mm -hmm. want to be putting. You know, just how to sell your property in front of those people from day one. From what you're doing, you're, you're introducing the brand, the, the, the culture of the business, the people, uh, going to know that I can trust you, and then, then when they are ready, that you'll be top of mind. So, mm. how, right, how, so. how, how, <laughs> how important do you think um, video content? I mean, obviously, everyone knows um, how good you are with Facebook and, and getting people's brand, I guess, more prolific in the industry. But mm. how important is video content within their marketing strategy? Now, now with Facebook, it's it's essential. Uh, Facebook wants video. It predicts, you know, by 2020, 2021, 90 percent of all content on, on uh, Facebook is going to be video. It's rewarding people for video. It knows that's what people want. So yeah, it's vital that uh, you're doing video. Mm. I mean, Facebook is one social channel. Mm. Um, you look after a number of different ones, don't you? But I mean, where would you see? I mean, because we're, we're Christmas now, where would you see? sort of social media going in 2020 how would you what would you where would if you were saying to a, a new client of yours yeah. for example social media is super important video content is super important where would you be telling people to put that content I think you've got, I want to just say just Facebook. Always I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you reckon he's got ADHD? Yeah, <laughs> Look, keep going, Paul. You're doing a great job here. I people, think... people will be distracted now. Wait for you to finish. <laughs> Well, yeah, as your cool. teachers used to say, you're wasting my time, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> wasting everyone's time. That's it. Sorry, perfect. Um, I think Look, it's the bright lights. <laughs> Big city. The bright lights. <laughs> I told you, we're obsession with yeah. London. <laughs> <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to London tomorrow, not Boxing Day, but the day it's being filmed, and we could make our mind up. Should you go to Nando's or the State Place? What do you guys think? What's this got to do with you? Well, we'll come back to the video. It's amazing you're planning your dinner on a day in advance. Of course we're going. Of course, of course we are. What do you guys think? I'll go steak. steak, but it depends on the steak. Yeah, yeah. Which it's a, it's like a, a fillet, but it's been like spiral cut. Well, what yeah. type of steak do you go for? Then? Fillet. That's a whole another question. Well, it's fillet. Yeah, vegan options are not available. What about tomahawk? Oh, yeah. they don't, do, do, they don't do that. They don't do that at this place. So you're not going to the right place, so you're probably best off going to the right place. Cheeky Nando's. I'm seamlessly back. <laughs> to useful Facebook tips. Yeah. So, where, so where, would you, where would you suggest people be putting their video content 2020? 
Well, I've got to say Facebook to start with, but then there's other platforms which really are um, taking off, like LinkedIn. How good, is, how good is LinkedIn for you? Well, at the moment, LinkedIn's organic reach and engagement is huge. Yeah. So that they are rewarding people by just putting content on there, like Facebook did years ago. Mm. So I would benefit from that whilst you can. can I ask a question? Yeah. Can you advertise, like, boost, boost like you do on LinkedIn? So like, li yeah, so LinkedIn is making lots of changes at the moment. They're, they're bringing live videos. Um, I've got that. Have you? How yeah. did you do that? Well, you've got to be in the club, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Is that thing they're offering, offering to free. prolific posters? Yes. Or, yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things Ooh. they're bringing in. Big guns. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So, cool. Amazing. Now, the, this is really interesting, is, is that... Um, I'm a bit of a poster when it comes to social media. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some would say influencer. Now, influencer. massive tip for you guys out here. Never, ever share a post on LinkedIn. Kills it. Really? Mm. Better to post it. So you post? No, so let's just say I put a post out. I put one out this morning. Sorry, two months ago. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be doing that on Christmas Day. This is no. the magic of video. What are you doing? Okay. You're brilliant. Um, destroying so, that fourth wall. So, what's the fourth wall? It's where, in a film, no one ever looks at the camera, but in, like, really? say, The Big Short, for example, he'll be in the jacuzzi and he turns and talks to the audience. That never happens in Hollywood. It That's does. breaking the fourth wall. But it does happen on The Prop Show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, I've got no idea. Come on, carry on. So, so basically what happens on LinkedIn is this, is that... Um, to get something to go viral, you need likes and comments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The normal, the, the current currency at the moment is uh, three and a half likes, four likes equals one comment. Right. Okay. In terms of the currency. Okay. Yet, if someone decides they're going to share that post, broader. Broader. Um, if let's say you have one uh, one post with say ten comments on it, that will get by seeing a lot more people than if those ten people just hit the word share. Yes. Because it just like looks like one individual post with no likes. Oh, okay. okay. So it kills it. That's Facebook good. great for sharing, but LinkedIn yeah, yeah, yeah. never so had a share. I share all my competitors' stuff. <laughs> <laughs> to kill, kill it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, yeah, it's, it's true. Now this is interesting. Um, when it comes to videos, uh, co pure text on LinkedIn will be presented a lot more times than pure text with images, mm. will be presented a lot more times than pure text with images and a link, and video at the bottom at the moment. Oh, really? Well, mm. Is that maybe what they're tweaking then, is it? The... Well, yeah, LinkedIn's it's so going for some big changes. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think they're still trying to find where they sit, to be mm. honest, because they can't compete with Facebook on certain no. things, so they want to be... They're, they're yeah. keeping that professional yeah. platform, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. to, give you an, to give you an idea, because as you know, I'm a bit of a poster, if I post... Someone's uh, influencer. Someone's saying. Someone's saying. Yeah, that's... A, that's a song. Someone's <laughs> saying. <laughs> Shine. <laughs> and a good written, a good text post will get, for me, 10,000 views. What's a good video will get 1,500 views. Wow. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Just me too, yeah. 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 Well, just give you an idea, so don't beat yourself up. But then there's a school oh, of thought to don't beat yourself up on views. Just just chuck it out. Um... Because you took you, you took a lot of videos out. Mm. I mean, we were talking off camera in the green yeah. room about about exactly. giving without exactly. expectation of return, and both yes. of us actually said that both of us are not very good at actually selling our services. Yeah, we don't need to, mate, because you're awesome. But you should at some point just go. Well, but the less you sell, the more you sell. Yeah. Less is what more. do you think? Less is more. I think that's the million dollar question, isn't it? When do you ask? When, mm. do, when don't you? You know. Well, Gary Vee says ask in private, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Give in public, ask in private. Yeah, right. So, which I think is a great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're both massive, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> so let's roll on to the Ask the Prop Show. <laughs> Awesome graphic. Cute, awesome graphic. <laughs> you hate that graphic, do you? I'm kind of beginning to like it now. Yeah, uh, no, we can update it for 2020. We can make it. Do you want a new one for 2020? No. Yes, leader. No. If I break it, don't break it. No, come on. Yeah, move on to it. Maybe have 20 on it. Maybe have 20 on it. 2020. Ideas, um, so what's next on the list then? What's next on the list? You'd already read it without looking. Oh, we've read it without looking. We're not going to talk about his car. Unbelievable. Ooh, Chris got a new car this week. And uh, two, two months ago. Two months ago, Chris got this brand new car. He might and, have changed uh, it by now. Yeah, might have, yeah, due to all the bants he's receiving. So, question to the world of the internet is a Nissan Duke a bit of a hairdresser's car? <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, let me. I'll tell you, it, it's very Batman. It's all black, black alloys, black tinted windows. The alloys are nice. I know it's the alloys. Yeah, the alloys are nice. The alloys are good. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. But the value of my car less than Chris's lots in Countrywide shares. <laughs> 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 That's how that works out for you. It's not worked out very well. It's not worked out very well, has it? I tell you what, though, I've actually. Uh, at, the moment? Uh, at the time of filming, about four p. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Minus, Jesus. It's, yeah. okay. it's totally rare that I put quite a sizable min at 50, at 50p, at 50p and, yeah. and then, and then yeah. thought I'd double up uh, at 10p. Yeah, so that's two cars. So well, you know, I'm sure, you know, to, 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 I mean, what, what plate is it? Is it a 51 plate? <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Did it come up with some hairdressing? Moving swiftly on. Well, there's some uh, so. in the <laughs> <laughs> And a hairdryer. <laughs> Back to ask the prop show. Back on the <laughs> um, So, speaking of, um, not <laughs> cars. Oh, um, <laughs> unbelievable. Um, it's the agency. 2020 Steve. Yeah. You've got probably the most prolific agency in Edgeware, if not the biggest. Um, so. You've got some great, you've got a great hub model that's done well for you in nineteen. What do you think twenty twenty holds for for the market? Where do you where do you think people should be investing, and what should agents be doing to get themselves out of? Because it's been quite a difficult end to the year, hasn't it's it? Been a bit of a slump, it's been a hard year. bit of a slump. So why is that? Is it because agents aren't working hard enough, or are they not investing their energy in the right areas? What's not the sure right it shows London enough. <laughs> Where do you think? Fine, I'll take. People should put their energy into Fine, I'll take, take the points one at a time. One at a time. So, 2019 has been a hard year. Like Brexit has got to have affected everyone, of course, and it's not. Of course, it's more of a mindset than actual reality. Yeah. Mm. But a lot of people who have thought, well, let's wait for it to finish in May, and then yeah. it was October, and now it's. January. Newsflash, it's never yeah, finishing. It's never finishing. And there are certain people who, you know, you speak to people and it, it puts their life on hold. Mm. You've, you've heard me say enough time, there are, there are factors that make reasons people move. Those aren't changing, but the people who are ifing and ahhing are the people who are just holding. And what I think you're going to find next year, forget about anything else, yeah. is once that's sorted, people are going to be, all right, that's sorted, let's move on, let's yeah. go and let's but actually, move. actually, in real terms, <clears throat> it's not going to make a dramatic difference to the market. No, look, the market it's just confidence, it, isn't it? It's confidence, but confidence pushes confidence the market. Confidence drives the market, you know, of course, so, yeah. So I think, and, you know, for us, we've had a, a very good year. Yeah. Um, so I think next year will be a fantastic year, 2020, you know, yeah. just carrying on doing what we're doing. But we, you know, we took on a marketing director a year ago, and probably what you guys have seen are up turning doing videos yeah. and doing just being a little bit more yeah. organised while marketing. More savvy. And, you know, five years ago, that whole idea, I'd have laughed if you told me I've got a marketing director. But things are organised, our posts are organised. you just got to have a little bit more control, you know, decide what you're going to do on a video and then do it. And that's the biggest thing is... But what you're saying absolutely is what Paul would advise with social media strategy, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it, the whole thing with uh, using social media is, is to get people to know, you know, who you are and, and what you're all about. Mm -hmm. um, when most agents go wrong, think it's going to get you to sales and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, instruction straight away. It's, it's about taking through that, that journey. But it's consistency that's important, right? Consistency is huge. And, and that, that's, you can't stop and start. You know, Facebook, for example, is predicting what you're doing three to six months in advance. So you're getting in front of people if you use the advertising side that early. So you've got to take them through that journey. And what, what's been done here is, is perfect. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Why do you think agents want it now? Is that the system? I think that's, I think that's just yeah. estate agents in general. You've got to look at, you know, the demographic of most estate agents. They're salespeople. Yeah. And most salespeople agree mm -hmm. estate when they've already spent their money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whether or not it's exchange completed, that's a natural estate agent. Yeah. And that's just a salesperson. And that's, mm -hmm. you know, we're going, most people are in an estate agency, you know, you don't have as many youngsters coming through as they used to. No. So you've got a lot of older people who are used to the old way of estate yeah. agency. Yeah. And that's yeah, the biggest yeah, thing. Yeah. I've got guys who work for me, like, for our sales team, for our core business, I'm the youngest person in the team. Yeah. You know, and the idea for them, we're going in front of the camera, they're like, you're mad. Yeah. I'm not yeah. doing that. Yeah. You know, what if, what if someone sees it? Yeah. Good. That's the point. <laughs> I understand that, but it's not a natural, you know, people, I'm 38, so I've been doing it at 17. <laughs> what's, what's that look for? <laughs> Great age. <laughs> and good skin. I don't yeah. understand how that's, that's even a laughable comment by anyone <laughs> <laughs> of you. Because I'm 20 years older than me. 20 years old. <laughs> Well, my generation isn't used to it. No. You no. know, let alone people older than me. It's sure. just not something. So it's just... Really 10 years older than you. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a lot of years. I think um, up until now... How old are you? Look, it's not what... <laughs> 29, mate. Thank you. How old are you? 37. 39. You're near my age, aren't you? No way. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking self. That's not a white band on his hat, it's just grey hair. <laughs> How old are you? 40 in a bit. Oh, oh, do you know? Old man river. <laughs> well, we don't feel 50th. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> leathered. What did you um, do next, next year? Next year. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's uh, 2021. It's my 50th. Oh, oh, excellent. Looking forward to that part. There you go. Um, um, we should do that part. Okay, cool. Yeah. Maybe um, we should so, get drunk on the show. Like, <laughs> so, at this point in the show... <laughs> um, Looking at the list. We would, us- <laughs> we would usually cut live to our man on the ground in Edgware. But as he's here, it's time for Steve Says. Steve Says! <laughs> Roll the graphic. Steve Says! 2020, the year to sell. Perfect. Live Steve Says. Yeah. Live Steve Says. Now that's what the Christmas show is all about. So, okay, cool. So, the keeps giving. Yeah, does, giving. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, why don't we have a crop show advert? I don't normally drink beer, but when I do, it is always prop show beer. Right, that's the end of that. Uh, can we uh, quiz Paul on some more top tips? Yeah, let's have been fun. To him in the studio. In fact, was there yeah, anything, just... any golden nuggets that come up that the people would love out there? I tell you what, it, it was like being on, you know that <laughs> Quest program, you know, Quest HD, where, where basically they've got that big gold zinner oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they're coming out with the nuggets. It was like one of the machines. <laughs> 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 so... Paul, he was dropping was, gold nuggets like a Lancaster over in Central Europe in <laughs> 1944. Um, could you give us five top tips for Facebook? Oh dear. Wow, five. 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 Okay, three. 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 Three top tips. Yeah. Use video. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, number one's got to be used video. Of course it has. It's amazing. got to be used, used video. Yes. Um, so can we also just say, it's not because we make video. Like, Paul is independent and he's seen video as comic. Okay. Content. 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 Any content. Content. Yeah. Content. I think uh, there's a nice number of things. Yeah. Yeah. Like TV show. That is content. That is content. That would be really good strong content. But um, I think uh, a lot of the time um, agents should just have to think about what people are asking them um, on a daily basis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the amount of times people ask me, well, what, what content should I be doing? Well, it's simple. You, you go to valuations, people walk through the office, they ask question after question. That's what they want to know. Yeah. What keeps yeah, them up yeah. at night? Either what yeah. makes what they're fearful of, what frustrates them, or what excites them. Sure. There you go. It's going yeah. to, you know, just write every day, write different questions that get asked, write them down. Yeah. That what's happening in the property market. Yeah. There you Sound. go. Yeah. There yeah. You go. Yeah. Property market update. Property yeah. market update. There you go, mate. Eh? Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Okay, cool. So guys, if you want to get hold of Paul, um to have loads of people your, use in it. your agency, uh well, Paul, you run a monthly group, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. free group. Um yeah. advertising for estate, Facebook advertising for estate agents, it's free Shh. yeah. Free for anyone to join, loads of uh, value, free content, no plugs, it's just... Amazing. Uh, and we thoroughly recommend Paul. Uh, we think Thank he's you. a top guy. And also, uh, we recommended him into the Belvoir Network, as yeah. he now runs courses there. Yeah, great group. So, fantastic. Yeah. So I'll get yourself booked on if you're in um, there. Yeah. And uh, we would really encourage you to watch uh, throughout 2020, North London TV, which has been uh, commissioned for the entire year. So, that's good. That's only 12 times you can come and see it. 12 times you can come and see it. Yeah. Um, so that's amazing. Uh, but guys, thanks a million for watching the show in 2019. Uh, we've loved making it. We've loved having all our guests on. Um, and more importantly, we've loved uh, having feedback from you guys. So you keep watching and we'll keep making it, which is awesome. So, we made that uh, whole year. We made another whole year. Like, whole year's whole year. Some so say it would never happen. Some say, some say <laughs> it would never last. Some say it would never last. But yeah, so amazing. So uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Watkin for, for turning up occasionally. Uh, and my, He's uh, not on holiday this week. I'm on holiday next week. next week. No, two weeks' time. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. Uh, so Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, one Merry Christmas, one and all. Happy, happy, happy New Year. So uh, all that's left to say is... Uh, Show! Sure.